Hey Pumpkins, it's Bella and today's video is going to be me cleaning out my palette. I have a ridiculous amount of palettes and I was like, you know what, I need to clean these out, I need to get on top of this, get rid of some of them because I am not in my entire lifetime going to use this amount of palettes. So I decided to clean it out and I was like, let me do it with you guys. I feel like that would be really fun and you can see why I like select palettes and why I don't like some of these palettes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two piles behind me so that you guys can see how many I get rid of, how many I keep, which ones I keep, which ones I don't keep. And I'm going to go through all of them and tell you why I like them and why I don't. And I'm not going to make any excuses. I'm on top of this. If there is a palette and I'm like, oh, I really like this one color, it's out of here. It's gone. I said, I'm sorry, mama. You never meant to make you cry, but tonight I'm cleaning out my palette. That was so lame. But honestly, you know what I should do? I should start a series of like, I'll do this for every like item of makeup, like primer, foundation, a bronzer, and I'll like have the intro of me singing that, except change the word every time. So I'm sorry, mama. Never meant to hurt you. But tonight I'm cleaning out my primers foundations, liquid lipstick. But if you guys actually want to see a series on this where I do like palettes today and then later on I will do primers or foundations or liquid lipsticks, then please comment down below if you want to see that or give this video a thumbs up so I know that you want to see more of this series. And also comment down below like if you do want to see it, what you would want to see next, like if you want to see primers the most or foundations the most, please let me know if you want to see it at all even. If you don't want to see it, just give me a big fat no. <laughs> anyway, this intro has been long enough. I'm going to go ahead and get into it, tell you what I do and don't like. And if you're interested in cleaning out and getting rid of some of my palettes with me, then please keep watching. Okay, first palette, Tartlet in Bloom. I used to be head over heels for this palette but honestly I think I'm gonna get rid of it. This I just feel like it should be a black but it's a grey so sometimes I feel like my looks just look washed out with it I guess and also sometimes these aren't really all that pigmented like they look pigmented when I swatch it with my finger but on the actual brush on my eyelid I feel like they're not all that pigmented. I never use it anymore so that's in the goodbye pile. The next palette that I have is the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. So it looks like this. It is an absolutely gorgeous palette. I love it to death, but I think I'm going to have to get rid of this one purely because I don't use it ever. Like, I can't tell you guys the last time that I actually picked this up. I didn't even remember that I had it because I don't think I've used it in like close to a year. I never reach for this palette, so... We are not hoarding. Okay, so I have the Nubian palette by Juvia's... By Juvia's? Is it... I thought it was like Juvia's palace or something. So this is what this palette looks like. I am so honestly in love with this palette. So incredibly gorgeous that I think I'm going to keep this one. Now I have the Urban Decay Ultimate Basics palette. I'm going to keep this palette because I use it all the time. I love it. It's all matte. It has like colors that I genuinely actually love and use. There's not a single color in this that I don't like and there's so many color combinations that I can get with this palette. I am obsessed with this palette. From the moment that I put this on my eyes, I was in love. The black is so pigmented. I'm like keeping that one. And I already know that I'm getting rid of this one, so this is the Kylie Jenner The Bronze Palette. Never used it a day in my life, not even I when I first got it, like the hype was so huge around it and I was planning on doing a three look series with it, but I've never used it and it just doesn't really appeal to me. I don't look at this and I'm like, wow, this is a nice palette. Like the colors are nice, yes, but nothing about this like screams out to me that I need to use it. And honestly, I have never used it before, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. So I have the Kali Bible BH Cosmetics palette now, and I'm definitely gonna keep this one because I love it. I always use the highlight shades and the shimmer shades religiously, and also these three shades here are so insanely gorgeous gorgeous for like mauve looks and oh, I don't know I just I love this palette they are so pigmented and buttery and they are so stunning on the eyes and you guys need to let me know if you still want a three look one palette series with this 
palette because I haven't done one yet and I remember that you really wanted to see one but I never got around to it. Okay, so this is the Zoeva Nude Spectrum palette which I am 100% keeping. I knew before I even opened it that I was keeping this one because um, some of you guys might know this is one of my favorite palettes. This is definitely in my top three favorite palettes because it is so buttery and creamy and pigmented and also the colors in it are like my dream. It has to be one of the prettiest eyeshadows I've ever seen in my life. So this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon Bomb palette and honestly I think that I'm gonna get rid of this. I have like can you guys see how little I have used this palette? I've never reached for this palette. Now I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and this palette is gorgeous. There are so many looks you can create using it. I just did a three look one palette series using this palette. Gorgeous, the colors are amazing. It's so pigmented, blendable. I love the smell and I'm gonna keep this in my collection forever. This is the Too Faced Semi Sweet palette. <laughs> I don't even know how this happened, but I'm definitely keeping this. Can you guys see how much I use these eyeshadows? This black right here, Licorice, is almost at pan because I have never tried a black that is so pigmented. I next have the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, and let's be real, not getting rid of this one. This just makes me so happy, the smell. The smell alone makes me so happy. But the colors are gorgeous. So this makes my heart happy. I love purples. I love browns, neutrals, peaches, everything about this palette. I know some people were confused by it because they were like, this is a peach palette. Why is there not much peach in it? But it's actually meant to represent every color that a peach has in it. So like a bruised peach is purple. The leaf of a peach is green, yada yada yada. The next palette that I have is the Becca Ombre Nudes Eye Palette. I have never touched it. I'm going to get rid of it. It's not warm enough that I want to wear it on a day-to-day -day basis. I just don't see myself leaning for this. I love this palette with my whole heart. This is the Natasha Denona Star Palette. Look at that and tell me one color you dislike from this palette. I love it. This is the palette that if I travel anywhere, I bring this palette with me because I can create so many looks from it. These are probably the most pigmented shadows that I've ever used in my life. This is my dupe palette. Okay, I have the Natasha Denona palette. I don't know what this one's called, but I'm keeping this one again. I didn't spend $400 on this because I don't like it. I love it. I love all of these greens and the browns. This color right here is like my favorite favorite color in the palette and just look how pigmented these shadows are they are incredible normally you have to dip into a shimmery shadow like a few times just for one eye you dip into this once and you can cover both of your eyes like it's incredible to save time I'm gonna group all three of these together because I'm getting rid of all three of them these are the Urban Decay Naked palettes so First things first is most of them are pretty similar aside from this one which is more like peach pink tones but they're just not pigmented. I don't really like the color selection of any of them. I don't really understand the color scheme. Like there's so many shimmers and not enough mattes to work with. Kylie Jenner Royal Peach Palette is it? The packaging for this. Can we take a moment? Can we take a moment? I love it. Um, also the inside. I don't know, I think that I'm going to have to pass on this one as well, purely because I don't think there's enough shades in here to like make a full look. Like there's no dark shades at all, they're all pretty light and I need something in my crease to go with the green or you know what I mean? Like I just feel like none of these shades really get dark enough for me. I look at it and I don't really understand it. It smells really bad. I don't know what that's about. I really loved it when it first came out and then as soon as I got it in my hands on it, like in person, I was like, meh. Um, this one is a glitter injections palette full of glitter injections glitters and I actually think I'm going to get rid of this one as well. I don't like these pressed glitters. Um, they just like, let me try and show you, oh, even the feel of them, they're like really oily and then can you guys see that as I'm doing it? like? When you swipe it, this happens with a brush as well, it moves the product with you so the product doesn't stay and it gets really patchy, it transfers really easily and it says you don't need glitter glue but without glitter glue it transfers really easily and with glitter glue it transfers really easily so I don't know, I'm just not really a fan of the 
pressed ones from Glitter Injections. Also, I've heard that they get moldy. This is the Masquerade by Juvia's. <laughs> is it just Juvia's? And I have never used this, so I think that I'm going to kick this one to the curb. The colors are really pretty, but I don't know, it just... I look at it... Normally when I'm getting inspo for... Oh, my choker is coming off. Normally when I'm looking for inspiration for my eyeshadow looks, I look at palettes and I get inspo from them. This one, I just don't feel anything. Like, nothing comes to me. I've looked at it a million times. I've meant to use it in tutorials before, but it just doesn't... I don't know. I hope none of you guys think some of these reasons are stupid. I'm trying, like, it's hard to explain. You know when you just look at a palette and you don't really like it? It's how I feel about some of these. I'm just like, eh. The next palette I have is the Modern Renaissance from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And, I mean, are you kidding me? Of course I'm keeping this. Are you kidding me? Of course I'm keeping it. This has to be probably my second favorite palette that I own. I would definitely list it Mario Master Palette, Modern Renaissance, the Zoeva Nude Spectrum palette and then the Morphe 350. Love those palettes. So this one is a big fat yes. The BH Cosmetics Bronze palette. This is an eye and cheek palette. And I'm going to get rid of it because I just, I don't know. Do you guys, like, I don't really look at that and I'm like, wow, love it. It has an awkward blue, too many shimmers and... There's no, like, dark colors to work. The next palettes are from Chi Chi Cosmetics. So I'm going to be keeping one of these. I'm going to be keeping the Timeless palette because I actually really enjoy this palette. They have some really beautiful colors. They work well together. And I, in my opinion, they're really pigmented and easy to work with. So I enjoy this one. This Sunkissed one, however, I don't like. Um, it only has one matte shade in the whole palette. So, I don't know how I'm meant to work with entirely shimmer shades. I have the BH Cosmetics 120 color eyeshadow palette, and this one I'm also getting rid of. Rid of. I have a colorful palette from Morphe, which I like a lot more and have actually used. I think this might be the same one, but I'm not sure. Like, I was on a color craze at one point buying a million colorful palettes, so I bought this one and haven't opened it. The shadows just don't look good quality to me. Oh, and that's the same as this one from BH Cosmetics. I don't like this either. The shadows are so small and none of them really appeal to me that I want to use them. The only one I've ever swatched is this pink here, which is the only reason I would keep the palette. So I'm going to get rid of this one because I don't like it and I feel like I have all of these colors but in better, like from in better eyeshadows basically. Wow, I'm getting rid of a lot more than I'm keeping. <laughs> okay, next is from Colourpop. I'm going to keep this. This is the... I'm not sure. And it's stunning. These are my colors. I could make a whole eye look from these alone, you know, transition, crease, crease, and lid. Beautiful. It's the look, like it's the colors that I always use in my eyeshadow looks. I always use warm colors like this. I don't know how to describe the feeling of these ColourPop shadows, but I'm obsessed with them. They are so smooth. Oh my gosh, I love them. And I'm also going to be keeping the other Too Faced, um, Too Faced Colourpop palette as well because, I mean, I mean. So here I have the Smashbox Cover Shop palette. This is the Ablaze Eye palette and it looks like I haven't even touched it. That's because I haven't. That's because I actually actually have two of this palette but like I just said to you guys warm neutral colors are my jam and I actually have a video coming out with Mecca which you guys can check out I will link below when it comes out or if it's already out by the time I put this video up and I used this palette and I fell in love with it as soon as I used it I couldn't believe how pigmented this palette was I've never really liked any Smashbox palettes and then I used this and I was like wasn't ex I was expecting to have to build it up and I was like this is gonna be really awkward to like use on camera and I'm like ah, come on come on but no this is insane we've already spoken about this of course I'm keeping this one this is the master palette by Mario palette <laughs> master palette by Mario and Anastasia Beverly Hills this is my favorite palette in the entire world nothing tops this palette okay this one is back in its box because I was gonna give it away but then I was like oh I don't know if that's bad because I've swatched it 
um, but it is the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette, and I basically I hate this one. It's not pigmented. There is no pigment whatsoever except for in Bump, which is the white color. All of the other ones are just no pigment. I, when I got this, I was so excited because I was like, wow, I can't wait to create looks with this. There's so many colors. It's like such an inspiration board, basically. Like I was just looking at it. I was like, wow, I love this. But as soon as I swatched it, I was like, nope. Adios! I now have the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And oh my god, I can't believe I forgot to put this in my top favorites. Definitely my top five palettes. This one here. Every time I have to do my makeup for... If I'm taking Instagram photos or something, I know it sounds so lame, but if I'm doing Instagram photos or something or taking photos of outfits or if I have to do a lookbook and I just need to do my eyeshadow without doing a tutorial, I always pick up this palette. It's all matte and it's beautiful. It took me so long to get it and once I got it, I was like, what the hell, bitch? Why didn't you buy this sooner? This is actually one of the first palettes that I ever purchased. And I still love it just as much as the day that I bought it. I can't believe I haven't used this in so long. I do wish there was like another brown transition shade because it doesn't really have a transition shade. But I'm definitely going to use this now that I've cleaned out so many palettes. Okay, this one I'm getting rid of. This is the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. So I have nothing against the shadows per se. Um, I just don't like the palette as a whole. I'm never going to use it. They're all like shimmery, glittery shades, except they, I mean, I just feel like they should be more glittery. Like when I use it, it kind of just looks like your average blue shimmery eyeshadow. I can find all of these in other palettes. I just don't think it's worth cluttering my collection. I almost dropped it. This palette right here is one of the Tarte Holiday Collection palettes. And I've always loved Tarte Holiday Collections, always. But I think that I'm also going to get rid of this one because I never use it. I just, I don't even know why I don't use it. Like, it's a perfectly good, beautiful palette. It has all of these stunning chi colors, but I don't know. Okay, I think I'm going to give this one a trial run. I think I've just, I don't like the clunky packaging of it is what turns me off. Um, so I think I'm going to keep this one for a week. And if I don't pick it up once in that week, it's gone. This is the Chloe Morello Ciate palette. And I'm going to keep this one because I love Chloe and I think that this is gorgeous. It has such a diverse range. You know, you can get very versatile, different looks using this palette. You have blues, you have mauves, you have purples, then you have your browns, transition shades, everything you could need. Pigmented. So yeah, I definitely think that I'm going to keep this one. I love these palettes. These are from Sleek. So gorgeous. Look how beautiful these palettes are. Look at them. And they are so pale. Oh, okay, I've changed my mind. I'm getting rid of the top one. It's not worth it. Okay, uh, um, this is the Meat Matte Nude from The Balm. Uh, I never use it. I don't, the shades just don't really appeal to me. I, I don't know. I just don't really like this palette. I have the Smashbox Shape Matters Eye Palette, and I don't like this. I don't like the colors. I don't like the formula of the shades either. Then we have the Nude Tude Palette from The Balm. And honestly, I'm going to have to get rid of this one as well. I'm never going to use this. I'm never going to pick this up. I'm never going to look twice at it. Like, sure, the palette is really pretty, but I just know in my heart that I'm never going to reach for it ever. The Too Faced Boudoir Eyes gonna have to get rid of this one as well I don't actually like any of the shades in this one so it cosmetics naturally pretty palette I'm getting rid of this as well all of the shades look washed out it just looks like someone I don't know they just look washed out I don't really like the pigment the formula of these eyeshadows either is anyone kind of feeling like this is gonna fall <laughs> I feel like I'm playing stack towel this is the Natasha Denona eyeshadow 5 palette I'm getting rid of this I broke it I broke the only two shades that I actually used and I never use it all three of these are shimmers I never reach for it I used it one time and that was it and I have three eyeshadow palettes from the brand Essence uh, I'm gonna keep the bronze palette and I'm gonna keep the all about nudes palette because I think they're beautiful they're very pigmented and very very affordable and then I also have this one which is the all about grays and I don't like this one it's just too cool tone for me and I'm not a fan of 
cool toned eyeshadows. Okay, let's get into my Morphe palettes because look how many Morphe palettes I have. This is ridiculous. The first one I have is the 35O Matte and oh god, I'm keeping this. I love the 350 from Morphe. And that's the map one matte one. So I'm also gonna keep the first, the original 35O palette. Say what you guys want about Morphe shadows. I know a lot of people have a problem with them, but honestly, I love them. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just genuinely like the palettes and I do think they're pigmented. I think they're good money, like good value. Um, aside from the shipping, the shipping's a bit ridiculous. There's some places um, in Australia that you can get them um, where the shipping is not ridiculous. I definitely don't think the Morphe palettes would be worth it if you had to pay $30 US shipping like you do from the website. But yeah, I feel like a lot of people have a problem with these, but I, I don't know, I genuinely like Morphe palettes. Like I just, I genuinely think that they're good value for money and I think that the, pig the pigmentation, the blendability and I just like the palettes. This is the 35C palette and I'm keeping this because I need a colourful palette. I actually do dip into this one. I have created many, many very beautiful looks with this palette. Like I, ha I did a sunset smoky eye and I was like, wow, I need to dip into colour more. Okay, this is the Morphe 35F palette and I think I'm going to get rid of this one. There's just too many shimmers for me and I'm not even going to use all of these shimmers. The I think this row is the only row of mattes that they have and I pretty much have every single one of these colours in other eyeshadow palettes so I do not need this. Oh god, I gotta put it down the bottom there because it's just it's getting too much. Um, what's this one? This is the 35P and honestly I think I'm gonna get rid of this one too. The only like colours I would keep this for are these vibrant purples but I have them in like Z palettes and stuff. This is the 35K palette and as much as I love this one I'm gonna get rid of it because once again I have all of these shadows in other palettes. I don't need it um, and there's too many cool tones in here for me and I don't like cool tones. And then I have the 35T palette and I don't know, I just opened this palette and I was so underwhelmed that I think I'm going to get rid of this one as well. And then the only palettes that I have left are like my Z palettes, which I'm keeping all of these. I am planning on buying different containers for them. I don't want to use Z palettes anymore, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know why. And that's everything. That is all... All of my palettes. So this is my no pile. I have a few... Um, down here that you guys can't see. I have a few over there that I don't think you guys can see either. And then this is my keeping pile. So I think we did pretty well today. I'm actually proud of how many I'm getting rid of. Like how many I was just like, yep, I can part with these. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoy. Oh my god, my choker just keeps coming to the front. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope, I don't know, maybe that this helped you guys in some way, choosing palettes that maybe you were gonna buy and you don't want to buy anymore or palettes that you now want to buy I don't know um, but yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel if you want and also please comment down below let me know if you do want to see a series of me doing this for each different step of makeup and yeah hopefully I will see you guys in my next video bye